All right, uh, I'm glad you kind of can't really see the web because it's an absolute mess right now. But I got myself a box. And it's quite a large one. Actually, it's very light. I wonder what it is. And I'm gonna edit this, but I really don't wanna do that right now. My LEDs just fell, I just realized that as well. All right, that's great. So, scissors. Okay. I'm gonna take a lot of time, gotta open this. Oh, there we go. So, if you've checked out the gram lately, you know what this is. And it's not my Snapchat because I lost that. That was a random complaint, but yeah. Holy crap, there's a lot of fun. Voice, hook me up with another card. That, that's great. I certainly think people will figure this out now if you haven't already seen the thumbnail. Because you just like, we're too lazy to check it off. So I can't open this box right now. What the heck? I have a, where's my knife? I have a knife here for some reason. Oh. There's a reason why I have a knife. Okay. I'm moving this to the side. Oh. Okay, it's bubble wrap. Never mind. Holy mama. Oh my goodness. This is actually beautiful. My life flashing. All right, I don't know where to begin. Let's just start off with a banger. Simon Pagano, number one. Uh, he had two of these in 2017. They made two of these cars. They made the Menard and the DXC. I already had the DXC, so that's great. And I think I've almost I've gotten a Menard's car for every single year now. I think so. That is great. And it's another 2017. There's a there's a lot of 2017s action. This so don't be surprised. Up next, Keep a Man. Uh, I don't even know if this car actually ran in 2017. Uh, but it has pink tires on it. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of can't even see what I'm showing. Yeah, so I forget if that was like a race they ran or something. I forget the reasoning of that. But I don't think they ever ran the pink tires. I think I was just on the car because... Because it was. We'll look at these better in a couple seconds. Graham Ray Hall Steak and Shake car. I only like this car because it's 2015. Uh, I forgot they made this in 17, actually. And Ray Hall's already got, always gotten so many die casts. He, he's got almost two a year every single... Uh, yeah, he's got two a lot every... Many years he'll have two die casts. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I bought two of these, actually. I, bought, I didn't buy two of these. I bought two Ray Halls. Uh, but I do like the Sagan J card. It looks very nice. Uh, the other Ray Hall is right here. I think that's just his standard My Jack United rentals. Um, also, I know back in the, I want to say the Tiku Masada video, I said My Jack was gone. Uh, they're back actually. I saw them on the Lingard car, I believe, on uh, Detroit weekend, I believe. Not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. Anyways, it's, a, it's an okay car. I just bought it because another 2017, I don't mind it. Uh, Sebastian Bourdais, um, of course, I guess this is his first race with this team. He won in this car in St. Petersburg. Um, it is just sponsored by Dale Corn Racing. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, it's cool that I guess it's actually my only Bourdais I ever have. Uh, so that's a bit weird, actually. I don't even have a Sealmaster car, which is, I want to get one. They're, they're good. Cool. The Marco Andretti, almost said Alexander Rossi, but the Andretti... Uh, United First Data, First, United First and Data? Yes. Uh, I, I always knew they always had, like, a bit of a weird deal going on. They left for a bit, didn't pay, and they came back. I don't know the whole deal with that. Maybe I'll do some research on it. I know David Land talked about it a bunch. The Joseph Newgarden Championship. I'm gonna buy another one of these, take out the box. This one is just gonna stay in the box for now, because Joseph's winning again this year. I don't get what you say. He's 30 points behind Marcus uh, because the team sucked at Indy, but uh, you know what? He, he'll, I think he'll do pretty good. I do want to get a second version of this uh, just to take it out of the box because the hum car, 
I'm sorry, it looks beautiful. I wish they made this a standard card. Um, but we only got the Verizon card, so that's cool. Uh, the Danica Patrick. This thing went for 50 Canadian dollars. Actually, sorry, 70. It was 50 plus 20 dollars shipping. Uh, so I got this one for 22 dollars. Each of these cards are 22 dollars, so I will take that. Uh, and I mean, this is basically Danica Patrick's last ride. Um, I know this thing's gonna go for a solid amount, but I'm still gonna take it out of the box because I want to. <sighs> one more thing. And this one, um, I was attempting to get forever when I first actually got indie cards. I was looking for this because it's actually one of the most rare podium packs things we've ever gotten. And you can already see which one it is. The 2017 Indy 500 podium pack, the first one we actually ever got. The exclusive Ed Jones. The Cash Nevis was also available, but I decided just to get the podium pack. And then the Sato because it didn't have the win. I picked this one up. Beauty for sure. Glad I have it. Uh, it's just, it looks good. It looks really good. And I actually like the blue on the bottom. Uh, I want to say it's all like per gold and stuff now, but the blue in this box looks really nice. It's going to be a pain about to take it out. And I've just realized something between the Chevy and Honda Aero kits. Uh, we'll get to that maybe in the review. But, and just the rear ends. And I see a little bit something different between the Hondas and the Chevy's rear end. Just saying. Uh, but yeah, great. So, we'll take a quick look, look, quick better look at it. I don't know how to say that. I don't really know how I want to pronounce that. But, uh, yeah. Also, for this case, it looks like Cash Nav is about to hit the wall. I'm not a professional, but he didn't hit the wall. And can we please, can they please just like make the cards look different sometimes? And have a different background? I wish they would do that, but they, but, they, but, 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 but they don't, so yeah. All right, so taking a closer look now at these cards, uh, I guess we'll just go numerical order because yeah. So the Pagano, again, I'm gonna all do reviews on these. Um, it's always the standard Menard delivery. He didn't run, actually, he did run the Menard delivery in 2016, but I do not believe Green Light even made a Pagano in 2016, uh, except for the championship car, which was, I think, a DXC car. DXC, it was like the D DXC color, so I was assuming it was the DXC car. And fun fact, had Pagano won the 2019 championship, we would have gotten another DXC championship car instead of Menards. Just thought I'd point that out, actually. But it is a nice car. I like the yellow. It stands out very much, and it looks good. Yeah, it really does. Um, what's next? I guess the new Joseph. Again, I'm not even doing a review on this, so I guess I can kind of spend a bit more time on this. The card is very well done. I really like this. The amount of editing. I'm taking three takes of this now. Might take four. No, no, no. No, I won't. All right. Um, like I was saying, the card, it looks nice. It's plain and simple. It's good. I want this to be like every year, but I will say... I like it when they go a little bit over as well. It, it's hard to even it out. I, uh, that, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next. Dude, so many low numbers, that's for sure. They're all like tens and stuff. Daniel Patrick, uh, number 13. Again, a very simple card. The number is very small in this. I've known, noticed, I guess. Um, I also don't say Danica Double logo. Unless it's the Danny 500 logo, but I thought that was just like the Indy 500 logo and not the Danica Double logo. I forget what that looks like though, but yeah. Maybe I should get another and make this a crash version or a race version. Yeah, I guess I should probably keep this in like a right zoom. There we go. Alright, uh, Ray Hall, Steak and Shake. Like I said, 2015, uh, that was like the first year I kind of saw this car actually, or noticed this car. That was whenever you watched the 2015 races last year. Uh, and I kind of actually liked this car. Uh, what I didn't like is that he won in this car because I don't like Graham Ray Hall. I'm sorry, I don't. I just cannot stand him. I think he has some talent, but I do not think he has any more talent. And I think he is definitely over. Like, he's good to retire now. Because he wants to take over his dad, the team from his dad. But I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, so, yeah, it's, again, it's a very plain car. He had my rentals, stake and shake, pen grade. That, that's all. That's all you can say about that. The United Rentals car, uh, they also made the United Rentals Turn for Troops one. They made three of these this year. Thank goodness he didn't finish on the podium. Holy crap, that would suck. 
like 2020 we got two of them we almost got a third actually the high v car was supposed to be produced but it never did um but yeah i personally think either get make this one or the turns for troop ones you don't need to make both because they're almost ident identical there's a you know there's a bunch of changes but like the base concept of the car is the exact same same and there's a soldier and strong logo that's basically turns for troops i'm pretty sure i don't actually know so don't quote me on that can i make these cards look a little bit better actually that works uh, board a uh they didn't do much with the dale coin cars actually i mean <laughs> They're, they're pretty basic. Um, I know Border is sponsored by Geico later on in the season. Um, of course, the Granite couldn't make that because by the time uh, it got announced, this car was already, I think, out. So, yeah. Um, I'm also pretty sure Oil Surya ran this race, or ran this car the 500 because of Border's giant wreck that uh, happens to be in the most watched video on the channel, which is a meme. I love how all the hard work videos get nothing, but the easy two second videos get like thousands of views. Oh, YouTube. Uh, again, it's a very, very open car. There isn't much to it. You got a couple logos, the number, a bit of red, and that's it. And then Sealmasters joined and everything was fine. So, you yeah. know, I'll deal with it. The Andretti car. Um, I think this was the only Marco we got this uh, that year. Uh, but it does look nice. It's a nice, simple scheme. Uh, and it works. Uh, I like these little wings, actually. It kind of looks like an eagle, actually. I think it's supposed to be an eagle, actually. I just realized. Um, but it's nice. I enjoy that. It looks nice. As, oh, my God. He wants to say it looks nice. Oh, my goodness. I can't think of anything else to say except it looks nice. Um, blue works for me. The black here is a bit odd. And I was never really a fan of the black little pieces of the rear of the arrow kit on these Hondas. Um, I just... It's clean... This is a Honda as well, the Dale Coin Honda, I guess it is, right? Yep, Dale Coin Racer. Uh, see the black on the rear end? It, 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 they can never make that different color. It looked, I mean, some of these are kind of works okay with. Like this one, it's not that bad. But the Ryan Hunter Ray in 2017 was so bad because it had that black on like the yellow and the red. It just, it looked off. It really did. Um, and I didn't like that. I, I, I really didn't like that. What is going on in this household? Um, again, we have all the, all these cars have the, uh, electronic numbers, because the fire didn't happen until after this, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, back to people, man, uh, I want to say this is a promo car. Actually, I kind of want to check that, but, and my sister wants to go on a computer now. She's not taking my computer, oh, no way, kid, no way. Um, I don't remember ever seeing this car ever even on the entry list. I think she ran the 63 that year. But I don't think she ran this car. This looks much more like a promo. Um, I think in 2016 also, when the air kits first got released, they had a Peep Man promo. And I think this is what it looked like. Or it was a pink and white car. It didn't have any sponsor or anything, I don't think. But it had the pink rims. I don't really understand the point of it. It looks like a car that could have ran at the 500. Actually, you know what? Uh... Uh... Okay, it doesn't actually say if she actually ran. I want to maybe say she did, but I don't remember having pink rims on these cars. Is that the soft, the hards, or is that like the medium? Um, I'd like to see what those green tires are like this year in Nashville. That'll be interesting, I think. All right, finally, the podium pack. Uh, this is going to be a much more entertaining review to film than the 2021 podium pack because there's just not much to talk about in those cars. These ones I feel like have a lot to talk about. Sato's first win, the Ruoff car, uh, wouldn't have got made without the Sato win. Uh, it's like that every year almost. I think it's like, since 2017, if we didn't get a die cast made originally, uh, it got made in um, the podium pack. I don't think we'll get one at 22 though. So. Sorry, Sato fans. It's a Dale coin car, whatever. Um, at the back of the Cash for Nervous Fuel Rewards, they got no problem making the fuel awards car for Elio Castro Neves. They don't have a problem with making the Expel car from McLaughlin or the PPG car from McLaughlin, but they can never make it for New Garden. I need New Garden on the podium. We're winning this race at the 500 race soon, or else I'm going to scream because I never get a new New Garden unless it's a Hitachi car now. I don't even have the 2021 Hitachi yet. 
Uh, but I do like the gold. It works well with the white, actually, surprisingly, and I never, never thought it would. Um, I'm worried about these bumpers, though. None of them look that bad, but I'm getting worried. Um, and then you got the Ed Jones car. Uh, Ed's only got two ever die casts made. I have both of them now. This one and the Chip Ganassi car. He didn't do Jack in the Chip Ganassi seat, I don't think, that year, last in 2018, so. Yeah, this is the only significant car he's ever had with a good result. Also, I'm still very confused. Is BS Scout a sponsor? It, it, I don't think it is a sponsor, but it could be a sponsor. What does this thing say under it? Hold up. I, I can't read that, actually. Oh. Focus. There we go. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there you go. You can see in my old review I just did. I, haven't felt, I don't even think I've released it yet, but... Cool. There we go. Um, so here they are in all their glory. Uh, you can't even see some of them, so maybe we do that 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 you can kind of see the new guy in the background you cannot see the Patrick though for heck now you really can't I don't know what to do I'll figure out a way to do the thumbnail uh, but that's it for today's video don't forget to comment like and subscribe so you never miss another video quick thing NASCAR reviews they're not going to come much uh, they're hard to get I still haven't done reviews actually down here you can see a couple of the cards I have not done yet uh, those are the ones that are flipped but you know, indie cars are easier to come by now. I think they're actually going up a bit. So, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of indie car reviews. I'll keep up NASCAR content. I'll try and keep it more averaged so we get more consistently diecast reviews. But it, it's gonna slow down. There's gonna be a lot more indie cars because uh, well, I only started collecting in 2020, and there's a lot more to get. But um, hope you guys enjoyed enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. And you never want to miss some of these reviews. Maybe who knows the board Amy, the Pagina, the Podium Pack. The Danica Patrick. I don't know. Have a great day. And we'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.